Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your full moon reading for August 15th. Um, this is my daily vibe for the 15th. Uh, we're just going to see what comes up before I turn the camera on. I, I sat here like I usually do. And the first thing I saw was the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. It's a gift. Okay, it's a gift from God or your higher power. It's a gift. Okay. Then I saw the Judgment card. So the Judgment is card of release. It's a card of release. It's a card of forgiveness. Releasing the past. Somebody is so, 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 so close to releasing the past. And now this is a golden opportunity to do so. The next thing I saw was 999. 999. Nine, when you see 999, it's a sign to move on. If you see 999 on a receipt, 999 on a receipt or a license plate or anywhere, it is a sign to move on. 9 is a sign of closure. So on this day, somebody, you know, will have an opportunity to release the past and bring closure to a situation. You may feel like that is, you know, what's the difference than every other day? The full moon is very powerful. It's a powerful energy. You have the help of the divine during this time. Use it to your advantage. So let's get started. Now, judgment, my eyes are back open now, is something, you know, a revelation, a realization, an epiphany, an awakening. So somebody may be, you know, waking up, waking up. It's time to forgive and release. This is the perfect opportunity. They may be doing so because they see another opportunity. It's like... You just think of the hand of God reaching down with this opportunity in front of you. This is an opportunity to grab on to something else. A gift. What do we have for the 15th? It's time to move on. It's time to move on. This is enlightenment. This is extreme happiness. This is a gift. <laughs> this is an opportunity to be happy. This is a rebirth. So there's an opportunity for happiness. There really is. Contentment. You know, the sun is a card of contentment, bliss, warmth, seeing the light, seeing the light. It's time to move on and be happy. If you'd like a reading, I do have, I do have this new thing, uh, Skype readings, uh, 30 minutes face to face. Or I have the, the pre-recorded for 65 bucks, 20 minutes. Um, I don't know where that came from, but for some reason it just popped out. Um, I don't usually say that either. Knight of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Emotionally unavailable. We have somebody here that is emotionally unavailable. Shutting down their emotions. I mean, huh. 
Not good. I mean, the, the Knight of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. This is uh, not nurturing this situation, not caring, cold, um, not emotionally fulfilled, that's for sure. Somebody could be very, this could be an emotional day. Aha! Very emotional, intense. This could be an emotional, intense day. Three of Pentacles reversed. No teamwork, no more working together. <laughs> no communication, lack of respect. Ace of Pentacles, see? You know, she's, oh, this explains exactly what I saw. I don't know if you can see it with this damn camera, but you see the look on her face. If you zoom in, perhaps you can. And I'll zoom these cards, this in, in a minute when they're all laid down. But so you notice, she's got something in her hand. She's spilling it. And it's like, there's the hand of God. Uh, she's shocked. There's another opportunity. So there's another opportunity. It's like all of a sudden there's there's this new opportunity. And I and so right here there's something that is being dropped. Okay. So somebody is dropping something because there's a bigger, better opportunity. And it's like it's come out of the blue. It's come out of the blue. So yeah, there's a new opportunity here that has come out of the blue. So maybe somebody got some sort of epiphany, right? With the judgment card that I saw. Oh, we got two. Three of swords. Oh gosh, pain. Three of swords been pretty prominent lately, hasn't it? This is heartache. This is suffering. This is very, very painful. Extreme sadness. Extreme suffering. It's like somebody has uh, really stolen what you cared for the most, right? It, it's real. Somebody has taken away the thing that you loved more than anything in this whole world, right? I mean, that that's what this appears to be. Extremely painful. Extremely. I mean, this is like, this is a, I mean, if you look at this card, this is a loss of a, a child. I'm not saying that somebody's going to lose a child, but I'm not saying that. But this, that is the most painful experience that anybody can experience. And I know that because I have lost a child, a live child. So, and maybe that's what releasing this is, releasing that. I don't know. Um, Seven of Cups. This is illusion, confusion, fantasy. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, King of Pentacles reverse. I saw this too. I did see this King of Pentacles reverse as well. Uh, this is greedy. We have a greedy individual here who may have made some poor choices based on fantasy, based on illusion. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Two of Wands reversed. Decision is being made. Somebody sees another opportunity and they're making that decision. And it could be suddenly. And it does look like it's suddenly. It does look like if somebody is making a sudden decision to go after happiness. I just want to be happy. It's, I just want to be happy. This is, a, this is a passionate opportunity. It's very sudden. It is definitely very sudden. I feel like somebody has realized, like with that judgment card that I saw, that whoever they have been crying about, suffering over, is not... You know, maybe they're realizing that was a fantasy. That was an illusion. You know, people romanticize about a person, they about who they want them to be. You know what I mean? This, You know what I'm trying to say is they, they have this idea of who this person is. And that person really isn't who they thought they were, you know. And then they, they cling to the thoughts of who they their heart wants them to be. So I feel as though we have somebody here that has come to some sort of realization because they get presented some <laughs> golden opportunity that really sparks their interest. It's like there's some, you know, instant attraction to it. It's like, <gasps> wow, 
that kind of thing. Oh, the King of Swords reversed. Now, this is right under the Three of Swords. So, under the... Th this is neglect. This is neglect. This is no communication. Not, not seeing a situation clearly. Somebody has been... Not being very practical, not being very logical, holding on to something that has already ended. But I feel like they get presented with this new opportunity and they take the chance. So I feel like today is a day of, of releasing because the, the, the judgment card is releasing. It's a very emotional day. Some this There could be some sort of sudden... Um, Departure, okay, with this Two of Wands reversed. So this person is ruthless, this person is greedy, this person is selfish. Obviously, they're not emotionally invested. They may, they may have portrayed themselves to be, you know, that fantasy that you wanted them to be, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't more than just a fantasy. So I feel like somebody is going to get presented with a new opportunity here that is very exciting. It's very invigorating. It's um, attractive. And I feel like we have somebody here that makes a sudden decision to... Uh, uh, I'm going to have to get some more cards. Take it. But right here, this is this is... This Three of Swords, this is painful. This is very, very painful. This is, this, this King of Swords, this could be isolation. We have somebody here that may shut down communication completely because of some sort of pain that, that they might endure, okay? There could be some sort of abuse. There could be, I mean, just got to be honest, the King of Swords reverse, this, that could certainly be abuse. There could be some sort of, um... I just have to be honest with you. There could be some sort of altercation. So just beware. Just beware and um, be careful. Be very, very careful because the King of Swords in reverse can be abusive. This guy is, you know, when he's in reverse, he doesn't, it's not about who he hurts. It's about proving a point. You know, he carries a sword. What's at the end of that sword? A point. Okay, he's about proving a point. Um, so I feel like, you know, and there's some sort of pain here. There is some sort of pain. So this is a painful, you know, release. It's definitely going to be an emotional day. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. We have somebody here that is very, uh, ruthless and greedy and selfish. And, you know, there, it was an illusion. They, they projected themselves to be somebody that they are not. And that is the truth. And the judgment is the truth. And I feel like we have somebody that gets this epiphany or they, 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 they see something better and they decide to drop it suddenly. They decide to drop this abusive situation that just about killed them or really hurt somebody that they care about or whatever the case is. I feel like we, we have somebody here that is, is making a decision with the two of wands reversed. They are making, and it's like a sudden decision to... go quickly did you just hear that vehicle go storming by to go quickly okay towards happiness it's like they get some sort of epiphany and it's like a, this is a gift it's like god is is you see this is the hand of god and this is the hand of god god is giving somebody or showing somebody something that they didn't see before and this is something that is going to make you turn your head okay it's going to make you turn your head it's going to make you drop something. It's going to make you think about it. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have everybody here. All the signs are here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Everybody is here. Somebody made some um, decisions based on their ego. 
based on their pride. They were not emotionally invested. They portrayed themselves to be somebody that they are not. They fed somebody some sort of fantastic illusion. Somebody fed onto it, but now it's like somebody has realized or they're about to realize that it's time to move on and not invest, not put any more effort into the situation. And I think that decision uh, arrives because somebody receives this new opportunity. Now, this could be a new sexual partner. This could be a new exciting opportunity. This could be a new job. It could be anything. It could be anything. Whatever this is, it could lead to something big because the Ace of Pentacles is a huge golden opportunity. So I feel like we have somebody that here that has been delaying. They've been protecting themselves. Um, here it is, the Page of Pentacles. This is the opportunity. Somebody is receiving an opportunity to start over. And that, the, see the Two of Cups reversed? They're, it's like they're, they're seeing this is, this, that, that the union that they have been holding on to <laughs> is not compatible, you know. So I think we we, we there, there's there's no coming together. There's no working together with that partnership. I feel like we get some, we have somebody that receives a new opportunity that you know appears and it, it, more than appears it is. It's something solid, something stable. Somebody is going to get an opportunity that they can grow into something long-term. It will help them to heal. This is a card of healing. The sun card is a heart card of healing. So this is an opportunity to heal from these past hurts, this past abuse. You know, this is an opportunity to heal. So I feel like today is a day of healing. It's a day of release. It's a very emotional day. It is. It's a very, very emotional day. It is. I can see that it is. There could absolutely positively be an overflow of emotions as somebody is releasing a partnership that, you know, isn't going anywhere. But, you know, releasing this partnership does bring you another opportunity. There's an exciting opportunity here, something that you could really take to the bank. But you're going to have to start over. You're going to have to, you know, start from the very, very beginning. You're going to have to take baby steps. Don't rush. Take your time. Um, this is an opportunity to heal. So I feel like today is a day of healing. I really, really do. So this full moon is somebody is going to see an opportunity that they didn't see. They didn't see. They didn't see it. And now it's like the universe, God, your higher power is like, okay, this is the reason. This is why. This is why this partnership didn't work out. That's why it didn't go anywhere because you got this new exciting opportunity. Here it is. One, one. Okay. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay. So that's all I got. Good luck.